Welcome back. Joining us in studio, we have John Morford. He is the president of the Board of Governors for the world famous Miles City Bucking Horse Sale. We always say hi to our viewers in Miles City and today, one of them in the studio. It's so great to have you here. Thank you, thank you for having me. Yeah, so let's talk about this because I mean, world famous, but what are some of the highlights? What should people see if they haven't been there or if they haven't been in a few years? Well, we, we've changed the, uh, how the Bucking Horse Sale has run over the last few years. We've, we only sell horses now on one day, which is Saturday, but, but, the, but the sale itself has evolved into a, what we call the Cowboy Mardi Gras. And it starts Thursday with a concert, goes Friday into Kids Mutt and Bust, and uh, we have a PRCA Rookie Bronc Challenge this year. Saturday's full of, uh, uh, full of all kinds of events in the arena. We have one of the biggest trade shows in the region there. We have paramutual horse racing all three days of the Buck and Horse Sale, as well as this upcoming weekend. So. Okay, I love that, the Cowboy Mardi Gras. So tell us the dates again, when, when is it? It's coming up. Yeah, it's, uh, okay. it, it'll, this, it starts um, next Thursday is our concert. Okay. And then we just go right into the weekend. Okay, all right, and this, I guess for folks who don't know the history of this, tell us about the Bucking Horse Sale itself. I mean, this is important to the culture of rodeo, right? Yeah, that's a, yeah. Our, the Board of Governors, our goal is to, uh, it, is to keep the, her the cowboy heritage going. I mean, and Miles City is pretty, uh, is a bastion of that cowboy heritage. And our goal is to uh, let people come from all over the world, and we do have people come from all over the world to come see this event. And we try to stray, stay true to our cowboy heritage and uh, show them what the real cowboys are. Right, and this is actually an actual sale where rodeos are buying some of their rough stock for their rodeos, right? You bet. We have lots yeah. of con rodeo contractors come big time. The rodeo uh, buck and horse business is a is exactly that. It's a business anymore. It's just the, they breed buck and horses just like they do quarter horses or thoroughbred race horses. All right. So for folks who've never been, what should they expect? I mean, I think Cowboy Mardi Gras kind of explains it, but anything else that you want to tell people about? All the uh, besides all the stuff at the fairgrounds. There's multiple events going on downtown. Big parade. Uh, there's uh, open container laws are taken off during the Buck and Horse sale at night. So, I mean, there were, there's bands all over the streets downtown. Okay. You can have a big time. Okay, so it's a big party in Miles City. I know folks from all over the world, like you said, come to Miles City. Right. I, I just want to know, what is the actual population of Miles City, and what do you think it is during the Bucking Horse sale? Miles well, City's population is, is around the 9,500, 10,000 uh, mark. Um, we're always proud to say that we can... We, we double that during the buck and Okay. We, we attract eight to 10,000 every year. All right, very cool. Well, John, thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. Yep, we'll be right back.